if you would have drawn it with, with a mark. So some lovely, lovely, lovely girls have messaged me quite a few of you now and like I never realized it was an interesting topic to they've messaged me asking me to talk about my tattoos and like I never thought this was a video idea I never thought it was interesting like I've never thought about people oh I'm being texted um saying the stories behind their tattoos but anyway I can very easily do that and they're not that insightful but I guess there's stories behind them okay so I'll show you my favorite tattoo first the angle of this video is really bad like I keep cropping my head off but you know what whatever whatever do you care do I care probably not okay so let's do number tattoo one which is my favorite and it is this it is a little sunshine. And basically the story behind this, why I got a sun is because it's like something my sister always says to me. She's always like, you're like a little ray of sunshine. And it's not just that, it's also, it's there to remind me to look on the bright side of life and it's really helpful for me to have a constant little reminder and I will look at it if I'm feeling down I will look at my wrist and it kind of grounds me and I'm like look on the bright side of life like things are not as bad as they seem basically that is the story behind it I there's another story I guess because it was an extremely spontaneous tattoo and I got it for free actually so I was with my friends in Berlin. And actually I was on a job for Urban Outfitters and part of their like PR event, they had a tattoo artist called Tobias Vetter, who is insane, honestly to this day, is my favorite tattoo artist. So if you're in Berlin, definitely recommend Tobias Vetter. And yeah, so basically it was a spontaneous, on the minute, on the day, I'm gonna get a tattoo. And it was my first ever tattoo, so it was kind of scary. I can't even feel it. But I'm so happy with it and I love it and I will never ever ever regret it because of the meaning behind it because it links to my sister but also because I am a sunny person and I always wanted to be I always want to be reminded to look on the bright side of life and I mean it's not offensive and I just really love it it's my favorite tattoo number two is this one on my finger and you know what guys there's absolutely no story behind it I just thought it looked really cool basically I wanted some on my hand and it was by Tobias Vetter again. It was free. It was spontaneous. It was on the whim. But I love it. I really love it. This is up there. This or the sun one is my favorite tattoo, I think. But I love it. Don't regret it, even though it was like spontaneous on the spot and there's no meaning behind it, no story behind it, other than the fact that I thought it looked cool. And I think that's okay too because I am adamant I will never regret it or any of my tattoos to be honest and then the third one again is a finger one which is basically faded Ooh. and it's three little dots which yeah they faded but it doesn't really matter because they were literally just three dots of ink and this one does have a meaning behind it and it's because I got it done with two friends so that's why there's three dots and it was in Berlin again and we were traveling and these three friends I'd been on a like a really long road trip with a couple of weeks before where we went to Scotland and we hired a car, we went to the Isle of Skye, we went to Fort Malik and all around the locks and mountains and it was just really incredible and we went to Glasgow and we went to the Edinburgh Fringe Festival and we just basically traveled around in the summer and 
it was just so so good and we wanted to basically remember our travels together because we were traveling again to berlin together and the three of us and the three dots symbolize the three of us and our friendship and basically that's the story behind it so it's kind of sad that it's fading but this one was also by tobias vetter at the same event so i went from having no tattoos to three in one go just because i'm a bit like that i'm either all or nothing but i don't regret any of them i love them all and actually i love tattoos i am so so attracted to tattoos especially random stick and poke tattoos i love them so much i really love tattoos and it really annoys me when people talk about how like oh my god you're gonna regret it when you're older what are you gonna look like when you're an 80 year old woman with these tattoos and i'm like i don't care i do not care i'm living in the moment now why would i care when i'm 80 that i have a tattoo i'm not gonna care and anyway when you're 80 do you like walk around not wearing many clothes showing off your tattoos no i couldn't care less what my tattoos look like when i'm 80 because they look freaking good now so i'm just gonna enjoy them now and love them now so it really annoys me when people make that argument because i think it's just stupid and pointless but anyway ran over my fourth and final tattoo is another one which was extremely spontaneous and it was actually with these friends again and it was on a another road trip to manchester and we went for new year's and it was such a good new year's the best new year's of my life and it was amazing and we just hired a car again we stayed in a really nice airbnb with a balcony right near the northern quarter of manchester it was incredible we went out for new year's such a nice experience also it's where i got my nose pierced so yeah it's so much cheaper in manchester like never get a tattoo in london because like just to get this small finger one would cost 80 quid because they have a baseline for any size the baseline the lowest they will ever do is 80 quid so don't get them done in london ever and not camden camden is dodgy but anyway back to this one so my fourth and final tattoo is this one so i will show you you see i'm really hot so my veins are out but basically it's just on my forearm and i love it it's in old american type of font and it says we can be heroes and before i tell you comment down below comment down below comment down below if you know what it's from and i will shower with you you with praise because we're on the same wave like i love you so comment if you recognize it from anything and i will tell you in five four three two one it is from my favorite bowie song and it says we can be heroes because i love it and i love heroes i just think it's amazing and bowie is my ultimate favorite artist ever and yes i cried when he died and yes a lot of people did because he had a huge impact on everybody's life and i've been listening to him since i was a little kid and at school when everybody's favorite music was like Beyonce or Little Mix or whatever we had, Saturdays, Little Mix, whatever, when everybody's favourite music was that, I was the girl who just listened to Bowie, Bruce Springsteen, Bob Dylan, that was me, okay? Like nowadays, like I am, I've got a very eclectic, like wide ranging music taste, like I even like rap believe it or not like i just appreciate good music when there's good music but ultimately my favorite artist ever is bowie because of his music but also because of him and what he represents and this is my favorite song and basically that's why i got, got we can be heroes tattooed on me because it means a lot to me and we can all be our own hero and basically that's all and that's the story behind my tattoos and i have four in total 
they're not that insightful or out there definitely definitely a hundred hundred percent want more and do you know what i really want my next tattoo to be on the back of my ankle i really want on like the back of both ankles why and then not i don't know why i just really want it just really really want it i want why not on the back of my ankles because why not why not if you're doubting yourself telling yourself not to do something just think why not it's my motto at the minute why not so why not that is going to be my next tattoo but i definitely also want more finger tattoos just because i think they look really cool and there will be no story behind those other than i think they're cool uh another tattoo i kind of want is cool to be kind but i don't think i will get that because i think i will regret that one but i definitely want more tattoos a hundred percent because i love them i find them so attractive if they're done right i hate colored tattoos really hate colored tattoos i really like random stick and poke style ones but anyway that's the end of this video it was random it was messy but i hope you stick around and don't forget to follow my instagram olivia by nature which i will write here because i'm editing no i suck at editing oh my god i'm the worst anyway yeah don't forget to follow my instagram and i hope you like this video because if you stick around then you are my queens and i love you all and i promise i will try my best to upload twice a week from now on I'm gonna get my head in the game why not guys why not also next video i have planned is gonna be freaking good and i can't wait for it it's highly requested and uh, i can't wait but thank you for sticking around if you did because boy it means a lot when the video is this messy so love you all and see you very soon Mwah.